Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. So where the last left off, we just took care of two missions and one and uh one launch of our dropship, so that was pretty cool. We figured out a little bit more about how the game mechanics work in this game. And now we're just kind of waiting for stuff to get built and for aliens to show up. <laughs> aliens come out to play yay okay this is what i was waiting for so you got a new laboratory that's awesome <clears throat> got a new radar so i extended our radar range gonna have a medical center i wish it could tell me the details about uh I don't know, an in-depth description about what, what each of these things does. Oh, excuse me. Um, just thinking about how I want to do things. I'd say I need another workshop eventually, but I don't need it right now. How much does it cost? 100000 25000 upkeep. How much room do we have in our living quarters here? Well, let's hire our scientists first, our new scientists. Okay, can you... You get diminishing returns after you reach excellent on these researches. Biology. Let's just capture them alive. And alloys. Plasma pistol. I don't know what the most important things are. Exactly enough room for 15 more people after the scientists arrive. And how many soldiers do we have? Eight plus two, so we got ten. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. I don't plan to die a lot, but I can't exactly plan for it. Five days for those interceptors. Yeah, I think we will put the rest of the... Oh, there's no more workspace available for engineers, and there's five on the way. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I want to build. I do know I need to reassign how these things are working. Flashbang is the best grenade. I'm not going to change that. This person has everything they need. So I'm going to make sure this is the default. The assault person. Forget these other grenades. Just They just aren't worth it. I'm super seriously. They blow stuff up and then it's no fun for anyone. Okay, if I put those flashbangs in the inventory, then the backpack, the medkit could be outside of the backpack, and that might, might be a good thing to do, but maybe not. You shouldn't have two things of ammo, that's kind of ridiculous. I don't really need to carry ammo until we get the laser weapons, because they have a lower capacity. It's going to stock you up on nades. Flashbangs are so much better than the other grenades. At least in this stage, but I think it's for all the stages, really. Heavy weapons guy. 
heavy the heavy weapons girl in this case. Now she does two through ammo pretty fast, so it's okay that she has extra ammo. I could also make a rocketeer, but eh. They blow up the weapons and stuff too. Make sure you get a med kit. I want everyone to have a med kit. Because I have a feeling that that cuts down on their time it takes for them to heal if they have a med kit. Oops, there's already. Yeah. Shield. It really just isn't. I haven't seen a use for the grenades, the other grenades, other than for. Well, I just haven't seen a use for the other grenades. <laughs> the flashbangs just kick butt. Alright. I like how our basic armor isn't even armor, it's just a uniform. It's kind of silly because the first new armor we get is like riot gear. It's like, why why don't we already be in riot gear? That's one of the only silly things about this game. Alright, the rest of the engineers came. So how long is it going to be till the things are done now? Five days. Oh, these guys aren't assigned. Three days and seven hours. I don't know. I don't know what's the best plan. Yeah, I don't need another hangar, so I think I'll reserve this for either another research lab or one of the smaller building things. I think I will build a workshop here. That might come back to bite me, but I think we need it. We do need it in the long run, at least. Okay. What's everyone think of us right now? You're up average. You have a union average. Middle East average, North Africa average, Southern Africa. I think everything's just average right now because we haven't haven't made it to the first month. Well, there's forecast changes here. Middle East and Africa are liking us. Everyone else is meh. North America is going to hate us for a while here until we get some people over there. UFO detected. Very small. I think that's a fighter. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, I have a fox drop then. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to send the fox drop though. No. Actually, I can go over that now. So the fox trot. See, it has two heavy hard points, but all you can put on it is these torpedoes or sidewinder missiles. And without the machine gun. They can't really fight. They're not not actually the best thing. Uh, Fox and Wolf is what some of our team is. So <laughs> what should I name this thing? Uh, I'll call it Viper. See if you guys know the reference to what that is. But yeah, all it has is missiles, so if it launches both of its missiles and doesn't kill its target, it's screwed. Whereas the other ones have machine guns. And it'll be a while till we get... Oop, wow, we engaged that pretty quickly. Okay, so something I did find out is auto-resolve. It's a little bit of a lie here. It says 100% victory. But that just means it's a 100% chance that both of your craft won't die, but it isn't a guarantee that one of them won't die, but I think we'll be fine, okay, I think we don't have to worry about that till later, alright, recovered the fighter data core, fighter data core and alien alloys, 
good. So we don't even need to send the Foxtrot. Oh, that was right outside of our range of being able to deal with it. That's kind of annoying. All right, 15 scientists. This is going to kick our... Oh, I wish this button was a little bit more responsive. Come on. All right. So eight. I'd like to go one over because that's what the person I was watching does. Just to make sure that it, there's no glitch or anything. Wow. That's really excellent. Can I do a third research though? Yes, I can. Sweet. Alien alloy is everyone else. All right. So now we really have research getting cranked out. Aha, UFO detected small. Still just going to use Fox and Wolf for now. We don't have to worry about it. And in... Let's see, he doesn't go to the right direction. Okay, medical base is done. Medical center. I want to. No, I don't care. I don't want to do that. I want to see more information about these things. Like, what does it mean? What does it mean that we have a medical center? How much does it speed us up? All right. Come on, catch him. Ah, it was so close. They ran out of fuel. So let's see, I guess I do have to start using the Fox Triton, so. I need both of them though. Are they both done yet? No, Fox Triton's still under concern. It's cool as you this does kind of like progress this construction screen here. So that's kind of neat. Ah, it's done. One well, was called Viper, so we'll call the other Cobra. So this time it isn't isn't directly a reference to Intentionally a reference, I should say. The Viper is, though. Okay. So now... Now I got some hardcore aircraft. I'm going to save it. Oh, fighter UFO research is done. Well, this isn't really research that we scheduled. It just kind of tells you. But if we look here, it says 180 kilometers per hour is its max speed. And if we go to Xenonaut aircraft, let's see the Condor is uh, 1,600, so it can't get quite catch it, if it unless it goes straight at you. This one, the Condor can catch, theoretically, but we miss one ever so slightly. So depending on which one shows up, we have to send different craft after it. I'm going to zoom in to the nation, or the... All right, UFO number eight it is kind of moving in our direction, so I am going to use Fox and Wolf. Oh, unless it turns around and flees, that's really, that's freaking annoying. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to start using the other two, just dumb. I'm probably going to have to learn how to just fight with the... Do the fighting myself with the fighters. It's not easy, though. <clears throat> All right. Taking this into our own hands. Send out Cobra and Viper. Okay. Uh, I guess we're intercepting another one with Wolfen. Okay, Wolf and Fox actually reached their target first. Auto resolve. Okay, turn to base. Oh, nine intercepted. Uh, so this is a little bit different than we, we've encountered before. This time we fought it over the water, so we can't land at this site if we shoot it down. There's an option to tail it till it lands, but we're way over the Atlantic Ocean, so that's probably not going to happen. So I'm just gonna shoot it down. See, we ran out of ammo with those guys. Okay, let's send Liberator. Oops, is it too late to? 
Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, well. Alien plasma rifle has been researched. We can't use it yet, though. Ooh, we can have... Oh, we just have the research ready to go. We'll do that. So this is this when we research this, this is the freaking riot gear. It's really silly. Really silly that we don't already have that. It doesn't make any sense. But whatever. Alright, let's engage. After this fight, I think that'll be the end of the episode. There's a lot of base management in this one. There's a weird... I don't know if it's a smudge on my screen or if pixels are a little bit messed up, but... Okay, slightly different landing location. Eh, I think my landing... Land oh, wait, no, it's not. Where is it? Eh. It's similar to the one we were just at, but not quite 100%. Okay. Ooh, I don't want to send him out here alone if it's going to be... I hope he's okay. This uh, layout's a little bit trickier than normal. Oh, she's in front of that window. Excuse me. So I hope nothing comes out from in this building and tries to shoot her. Taking it on faith, basically, so... You can't move very far, can you? It's a little bit strange that she couldn't move further than that. I want you to back up this guy. Hopefully no one gets killed. Okay, so we're dealing with a slightly different alien than usual. There's a... Oh, an alien that uh, reduces your character's bravery. I think that's what it does, at least. No, her bravery doesn't look lower. I could be wrong, though. Hello, is anybody home? Oh, there's the craft. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Found one. Hmm. I'm going to get a shot at you. Oh, don't think you'd get a shot at me, but that's fine. That's why the shield people go in first, because if they get shot at, not the worst deal in the world. Fourteen percent chance to hit. Ugh, that's only one step. I can't really get him somewhere safe and take a shot. So I might as well just move him all the way here.
Uh, she can take a normal shot if she wanted, but I want to crouch her down. She can't move forward. Well, I figured that would happen. This is a tad bit risky, but we'll see. Didn't kill it. It's not, not the best deal. Uh... I'm going to assume there's nothing on this roof. I can't move that person anyway, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter all that much. You... Gotta move somewhere, but I don't really know. It's always a pain moving the heavy weapon person, because they can't move and shoot in the same turn, pretty much. And I'm not exactly sure what to do with these two either, because I don't want to... I think they'll be okay if they just move forward. Not sure how much cover these fences give, but... Okay, and you actually take a position. Ooh, and she actually has a clear shot. She can't get off two shots though, so she should take, should take the aimed shot. And she did it. Okay, that's cool. I'm down to clean on with that. What is this? I don't know what this little thing here is. I hope that wasn't an alien that came out of that door. Okay, it was. So she has to move up at least two more steps to throw a stun grenade. Oops, that wasn't, that wasn't quite wasn't quite the stun I was hoping for. Let's see, a snapshot takes twenty seven. Twenty seven plus twenty seven is forty thirty four. No, 44, right? 54, okay. So she can take two snapshots. Okay. Making progress, making progress. You, sir, are going to check this window. Kind of get a rough idea if there's anyone in there. I'm going to assume not. Put you behind some kinds of cover. Question is, could I move and take any kind of shot at this guy? Take a normal shot at him. Probably get myself killed. Wow, that almost hit our ally. <laughs> and I'm kind of in trouble too, because I'm not in a good spot. But I have a shield person. Do not underestimate shield people in this game. They're pretty great. She can't get a shot, though. This person... Ooh, the heavy might be able to do something. Oh, she can only fire a burst, so it's kind of silly to mess with it. 
Well, at least one hit it. <laughs> That's kind of what you hope for with the heavies. Well, as the saying goes, spray and pray. Spray and pray. Pretty much just have to rely on as many bullets hitting them as you can. This, oh, this assault guy's been up here for a turn or so, hasn't she? Uh, oh, that's not good. Luckily you guys don't see it. as this alt tabbed out because I misinterpreted the buttons I need to press here. I think it's control tab. No, is it shift tab? Okay, it's shift tab. That doesn't make sense, but okay, we'll go with it. Take cover behind a car, because that's smart. Whoa! That was uncalled for. I checked that building, and there's no one in it. So that was silly. Okay, I think if we kill this guy in the school, though, we can safely assume there's no more in the map, because I don't think they can spawn that many. What? I can see him? Oh, there's not even a... What's the chance of hitting him with a burst? 63 times 3. Or 61 times 3. I'll take it. Sweet. This person's gonna level up quite a bit, because they're just killing everything. Maybe I was... Maybe I underestimated the rifleman in this game. Okay, so I'm just really not going to worry about if there's another <laughs> alien in the map besides the one that's inside the spaceship. Because we killed three, and I think only three can spawn outside of the spaceship for the size of a spacecraft. I really can't see what's going on behind this wall. Okay, I can move here, actually. I can't see. Uh, okay. I really want to see behind this wall. I think he's in cover behind this person. Can you scrap couch, though? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's just kind of over in, in Overwatch right now. Maybe I could just click this bar and see what it does. Itch. Oh, okay, that's the height? Yeah, that's the height level. Okay, so there's an easier way to do it than pressing tab. Good to know, good to know. This spacecraft looks bigger than the ones we've seen before. I didn't, didn't think it was bigger. Okay, these people just have to step forward for a second because they're in the way. Ooh, there's actually three slots here. This person can't even quite get there. Okay. Let's move them in here because I can't really think of a better place to put them. While everyone else kind of catches up. Mm 
I still don't know exactly what that does. I thought it lowered their morale, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. Okay. How should I lay out these? I guess sort of balanced like this. Okay. So this will actually let me kind of set up the way I was hoping to before. Kind of wanted snipers behind the shield guys, and then also the ability to make these guys rush in. Now this could be dangerous, because these guys don't have cover. Actually, it's probably extremely dangerous, and I shouldn't be doing this. This could be the first time we're actually going to lose someone, but... Going to try to pretend that this is a smart thing to do. I don't think they can open those doors, though. So as long as they don't open those doors, we're okay. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. That wasn't really what I was expecting. That'd be cool if I could hit all of them with one thing. Yeah, right there. We'll stun all of them, hopefully. Unless that happens and I didn't quite hit the right spot. Okay, it's your turn to try. Uh, it's really hard to target the one square I want to target. I want to target right here. Had it for a second, but come on. Is there a way to rotate? I don't think there is. Let's have you have a go. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now, ideally, you. How many shots can I take? Two normal shots? Can you do the same? Huh, it actually takes more shots for her... More points for her to fire, even though she has more to use. You can take... Two normal shots as well, so that's cool. Miss. You two can't do anything. Uh -huh. No. Could close the door again, but I don't know if that actually works. I'd hate to rely on that working. We're gonna be a little bit risky. I run behind cover somewhere, dude. Also, try to not be in the way. I don't think he can do both, but can at least do that with him. Sweet. Okay, now we just have one more to kill. It's 
It's up to you, Sophia. Oops. Hope that didn't mess it up. Ah, it did mess it up. Okay. That one little twist on position killed me, so... Alright, so then it's up to you, then. And you can't really move anywhere, so... Damn it, she can't even get into range. She's gonna kill people if she fires. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I don't want her to... I don't want her to take reactionary fire, so... Uh, just gonna kind of run her out of TUs for a second. Okay. It's the best I could do. Oh, now she becomes unnerved from... stuff going wrong. Oh, he shot the shield person, didn't he? That was a... Good for us, bad for him. And you're going to panic, and you're going to get in someone's way. Oh, she actually didn't. All right. Which one of you should go in first? I think you should go in first. Really get funneled in in this last little section here. Hopefully there's only one left. Alright. And there's two, of course. Okay, good. He's got to get out of the way, though, which is not possible. Well, just going to have to go here and hope you don't die. Oh, this guy. Okay. I know they're... Okay, I know they're there. You don't... Uh, I don't know they're there. You don't have to tell me. Ugh. This game... Uh, is there any reason you can't move right now? So really, there's that little room in there? Okay, what if he does that? Can you get in there now? <sighs> kind of ridiculous that they expect you to be able to funnel yourself in there. Alright, a bunch of people leveled up. More TUs across the board, that's really nice. Lieutenant, Lieutenant. They're getting the Order of Gallantry badge now for killing five extraterrestrials. I'm liking this TU gain that everyone's getting. I got a little bit of everything. Mostly everything. And we got some new stuff. Alright. New research pro new projects available for research. Alienium or alienium. I don't know how you want to call it. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode, so I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.